bars, I do a lot of salt bars and the way I do it is the intention there is for the salt to take away any kind of like negative vibes yeah. and sometimes in the house you can have a built, like, you know if I didn't clean my house, which yeah. I don't do that often, it would get dirtier and dirtier yeah. and you'd live with it for so long and then you get used to it, you know, you don't notice it after a while. Yeah. And energetically, you can come in in a bad mood or whatever, and it can build up, build up, build up. And one of the ways to clear it is um, with, with proper cleaning and stuff. You can use things like smudge sticks. I don't know if you use or anything like that. So smudge stick is like a um, Native American tradition of cleansing and clearing. And it's they say it's to get rid of bad spirits. Mm. So um, what you can do is, I mean, I'll talk to you about that another time, <laughs> maybe, um, is you light it. It's like a bundle of dried herbs. I've got one in the kitchen. I'll show you. I mean, maybe maybe Gus will be interested as well. But you light it and you smudge around your energy fields and you cleanse it. So if there's anything kind of coming in that isn't good for you, mm. you know, because if you think of it like colds, we get colds where we can't see the viruses, but they're there. Mm. So energetically, you can get stuff that can be a bit like, um, how do I put it, um, pull, pulls you down. Mm. But if you do a smudging, it kind of lifts you up and it kind of like makes you feel a lot clen cl cleansed, a lot clearer. Mm -hmm. And then the idea of it is to bring more positive energies in. Mm. So you do that on yourself and you can do it around your household. So very often what a lot of our psychics do is we do that on a regular basis because we, we know that our clients are bringing stuff in. You know, so, so I hope you're giving a good place a good fumigate after you. No, I'm, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying that because I know you, but um, you know you you um, you can do. So again, we go back to what your cards were saying yeah. about taking control oh, about yourself yeah. and breaking patterns and looking at patterns that you do um, that invites stuff in. It could be environments you're going into, for example. So if you are going, for example, if you're going to a lot of places where people are taking a lot of drugs, they're taking a lot of alcohol, and, then, and I mean to excess, not just kind of sit and have a little drink, then you, you've got a lot of people who are very chaotic, and then that can rub off on you, and it's almost like you can kind of inherit that a little bit. Yeah. So you, your main thing would be to avoid people and situations and places that maybe, or those kind of environments, yeah. and maybe walk, try and gravitate towards more healthy environments. Is that